Oh, bit nervous, first TV interview. I'm worried I'm going to be asking hard questions. From Gladys can be. She's a former children's entertainer. No one takes it seriously. This is going to be a pass beat. Welcome. I'm Gladys Kimbe, and these are the hard questions. Today's guest is Trevor the Unicorn from the United Unicorn Party. <laughs> Trevor, welcome to the show. Oh, cheers, uh, thanks for having me. And can I just say, my kids loved you when you were the host of Kids Corner. Mm, thank you, Trevor. Uh, can I say you're looking well? <laughs> You're immensely popular with your voters and your party's ahead in the polls. Why do you think that is? Well, I'm a simple working man and it struck a chord with the voters who are sick of the political establishment. Such as your main opponent, Mr. Head O'Hare? 100% old baldy bob. And what is your main criticism of Mr. O'Hare? Big business bankroll his entire operation and the voters are sick of this type of political skullduggery. Trevor, who is the man next to you in this photo? not a leprechaun named Bunyan's Cranky who made sizable donations in gold to the United Unicorn Party? What are you trying to pull? That wasn't one of the agreed questions. Get out of me, mate, or I'll hoof you. I'd like to speak to the voters. The behaviour exhibited in yesterday's interview was unbecoming of an elected official. Secondly, to Gladys can be. Journalists are the watchdogs of democracy and should be respected. Finally, to the rumours around the United Unicorn Party's association with leprechauns. Leprechauns guard gold at the end of the rainbow and unicorns are, as many voters well know, are the only being that can traverse upon rainbows. That is where the association begins and ends at the end of the rainbow. Thank you.